Only on two tonight, a local police department is investigating a crime where they, the officers, are the victims. Look at this. Their police cruisers were vandalized. Mm, KPRC 2's Devin Clark live in El Lago, Harris County tonight. That's near Kima. Devin, officers didn't have to travel far in this particular case. That is correct, Dominique. In most cases, when Lakeview police investigate acts of vandalism and find broken glass scattered everywhere, it's usually because they've been called away to a crime scene. But today, the crime scene came to them. Around 5 this morning, shards of broken glass littered the parking lot of the Lakeview Police Department, which services the El Lago and Taylor Lake Village areas. According to investigators, you can see part of the crime in action in this surveillance video. They say the suspect is 26-year-old Timothy Nickerson, and his motive was clear. Last September, uh, he had been suspicious in some activities. He was walking around barefoot at 1.30 in the morning through a neighborhood and they called the police. At that time, Nickerson was let go, but Detective Nelson says it's now obvious that he never let go of the grudge he held towards officers. Even after smashing several windows this morning, his anger grew when a sergeant involved in last year's incident pulled into the parking lot. And she saw him and he recognized her and he came to her car and was complaining about the way she had treated him in September. He didn't like that. And then he started smashing her windows. Detective Nelson commended the sergeant, who was a 15-year veteran of the department, for how she handled the situation. She did the right thing, stayed in her car, rather than get out and engage him. And she called for some backup that had some non-lethal, less than lethal weapons. After officials say Nickerson refused to stand down, he was shot with a beanbag and stun gun before being subdued and taken into custody. No officers were hurt. By early afternoon, three of the vehicles, including this one, were being repaired. The other two are going to be repaired at a later date. The total cost for all five, $6,000. And as for Nickerson, he was taken to the Harris County Jail and charged with felony criminal mischief. We're live in El Lago tonight. Devin Clark, KPRC 2 News. All right, Devin.